Hot One from Us. We run, we win. This is your friend James. How to vote series. You are what you vote for. This is really interesting. The Bible says, Be not deceived. God's not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. I have actually seen over the last few years in the United States of America, people who voted against prosperity actually lost jobs. They were actually, they're miserable. They think they're in a nightmare because they voted against, you know, righteousness and peace and joy. I mean, think about it. But you, but see, they're reaping. The Bible says the man's heart who departs from the Lord, they won't see when good comes. So if you are voting for wrong, and if you reject, well, even if you reject any, well, interjection, if you reject and don't try to look for the best and try to support whoever's in presidential office, you're not going to get reap any rewards for what they're doing. Hey, listen, obviously I have been alive while there were presidents I did not vote for, but I still supported them. I still prayed for them. I'm spiritually taken care of and nothing happened to me when not doing any of their things, even if some of them were acting totally stupid in the office, misusing their authority. It didn't affect, and it didn't affect me because I voted toward prosperity and I still supported them. And so as we're supposed to as citizens, I don't talk bad about them. I delete, I don't like people. I delete people from my social network. You know, in, at least in my personal private one, not the public ones, I don't, you know, I don't go usually go to look at their profiles anyway. But personal, I don't want to hear any junk about any seated president. You just shut your mouth. You don't have any right to talk about them. You don't have their history. You certainly don't have the information that they have on their desk. So just keep your mouth shut. Like President Trump. If you're not a billionaire with his resume, shut your mouth and quit talking about how you would run this country better than him. Just be quiet. I mean, come on. I remember, I believe they said President George W. Bush was a, a successful insurance person. You know, the devil tried to destroy his life with alcoholism. And so he's like, he turned around. He said he would read the Bible every day during his presidency. And he did for, for what was it, eight years? And then he, um, you know, but I saw his life. I saw his history. He has great testimony. So just keep your mouth shut about the president. The same thing with President Barack Obama. Once he gets into office, you shut your mouth. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, you are how you vote. The Democrat logo is a beast of burden. I want to explain this, and they, you know, it was originally created as a joke, but they kept it. And the Republican logo is a free, free roaming animal, donkeys. So I just want to let you know, you vote for what you, you, you'll be what you vote for. I mean, quit it. Join us or die. Wasn't that a quote from a movie? <laughs> Join us or die. I mean, when you're talking, when they use the word us and group and community, that means you are part of a system to where you are just basically a beast of burden. You want to vote for a Democrat? You can vote for them because that's, they use a beast of burden. The donkey. I'm not going to say the word that they people had originally. It was originally a joke. I don't know why they kept it. They might decide to use the bald eagle. I don't know why the Republicans don't use it. But anyways, I see it as a beast of burden. You want to be a donkey? You want to be a beast of burden that's told what to do? Go for it and vote for a Democrat. That's what their logo is. I mean, you know, that's why, you know, you know. <laughs> ah! Anyways, what is Republican logo? It's an animal that's free. It's even protected by some national wildlife refuges or whatever. It's like the, the, and the animal has long memory. You know, the elephants are treated well. The elephants are free roaming. They, you know, they take care of themselves. They're not controlled. I mean, think about it. Elephants free. You want to be free? Vote for an elephant. You know, vote for people who have a mascot of, an, of a strong animal that has a great memory. They say elephants never forget. I'm not really sure how they came up with that, but think about the elephant. I mean, when you see the elephant, I mean, and then you see the donkey. Just based off vote for you want to be. I mean, go do research. In a more serious note, go do research. Look up what's the price that the USSR, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic, what did they, what price did they pay? I mean, it's like 29 years after the fall of the USSR. I mean, what price did they pay? How much poverty was there when that curtain fell down, the Iron Curtain? Socialist, the Socialist Germany. Nazi Socialist Party. What was the price? Gun confiscation? Uh, what was it? Censorship? Remember, you mean to do the research. What happened? 
Hitler started a war. He became a dictator. The fatherland, the fatherland. I mean, do the research. Do research now. Find a type of socialist net nations of the world and go look at them and you'll see. Like I think I mentioned before earlier in another video, you know, you got the four, there is an actual country that has four, well, it has, de it has designations for social groups on their flag. Is a social communist, is a socialist or a communist country? And you know, it's got, I mean, it, it actually says that there's different classes of people. So do research, find out if you want to, America to turn into that. Now you have to take the whole thing. You can't just take free health care without, you know, if we don't want your kid to live, we're going to pull the plug. You can't take free education if we don't want to pay for this particular, you know, this, this uh, uh, what do you want to say? It's um, this major. This major is against our worldview, so we're not going to pay for this major, but we'll give you free education. But you have to accept everything we do. That's the problem with the United States of America, letting the church, the church letting the government take over education. You know, Hitler said, let's take over education. I mean, that was simple. You know, in fact, do their history in the United States of America. There was actually one person who said if they could take over the education system, you know, they could actually under, underhand everything the church did. So you can't take one without the other. You, you take socialism, go look at it. I mean, look. Go, hey, you want censored internet? You want censored movies? There are some countries, I remember USSR, what was it? Uh, uh, the man who wrote the, the melody. Oh, was it, wasn't, I think it was Shostakovich, not Tchaikovsky, but the one who wrote the, the, Olympia, the Olympic theme. It's like, he wrote something that the leader in power didn't like. That dude left that country. I mean, there are people, I mean, they ain't as bold as Beethoven who crossed out Napoleon's name. I mean, there are countries that if you, you know, just, just do the research. So you must, you must, you must, you must, you must, you, you do become how you vote. So if you want to be a beast of burden, tell me you have to look at the whole thing. And by the way, or you can be a free raging animal, the animal, <laughs> but anyways, they're both animals. But remember, both parties, both leaders of the parties are very serious. There may be fickle people on the bottom. There may be fickle people running to the, <laughs> running to the, um, polls but those party people are serious and if they say they support you know let's say like there's one country that doesn't partic that didn't particularly allow homeschool so let's say if one of those parties in their platform says no homeschooling then they will do everything they can to make sure it doesn't matter if you like homeschooling or not. You know, I like my parents always voted for this. So, no, no, it don't matter. If the leaders are up there pushing to get rid of homeschooling and if they get total power, you have to understand what would happen if you get total power. Just like the, Rep uh, the Republicans. Hey, hey, we like you, but dude, if you start taxing us, what you doing with our money? Nah, creature, you ain't taking our money. I mean, Republicans, a lot of them are business people. You know, so... You imagine what they could do if they instantly turned your country into what they wanted. And be rest assured, socialism does leave, have a dictator or someone in charge, and you are a cog. You're a rung in that big thing. Sorry, I haven't seen a socialist na nation yet where everybody was running around saying, we free, we can do whatever we want to. And I mean, think about it. Their money, how free are you when your money's taken? So, okay, that's enough of that. Ah, you will become what you vote for. And regardless, so decide what you want to vote for. Live movie?